Now to the big story, mega mall deal. Two of Metro Detroit's biggest shopping destinations sold as part of a multi-billion dollar agreement. Real estate giant Simon Property Group is purchasing Bloomfield Hills-based Taubman Center for $3.6 billion. Taubman owns and operates both Great Lakes Crossing in Auburn Hills and 12 Oaks Mall in Novi. All of this coming as malls are struggling to keep up with online retailers. 7 Action reporter Amir David shows us what this means for Metro Detroit. Well, it's changes in retail that are forcing this change, but even though Taubman will have to shed these two malls from its portfolio, its headquarters here in Bloomfield Hills will remain in place. And we're seeing that consolidation on the retailer side translate onto the real estate side. Commercial real estate expert Lauren Leach on the latest mega mall merger. Today, the Indianapolis-based Simon Property Group announcing a $3.6 billion purchase of the Bloomfield Hills-based Taubman Centers and all of its 26 properties, two of which are Great Lakes Crossing and 12 Oaks. The acquisition boosting Simon's presence in Michigan, the company currently operating Ann Arbor's Briarwood Mall and the Birch Run Premium Outlets. The retail environment is constantly evolving and we must continue to adapt as well. Robert Tubman signaling online shopping's gloomy impact on the industry in a call to reporters this morning. With the growing popularity of Amazon and other online retailers, traditional brick and mortar retailers have been suffering in recent years. And department stores, the anchors of many malls, have been hit particularly hard. The department store closes and goes dark, and then that impacts all the smaller stores within a mall. If those smaller stores close, it triggers all of these different co-tenancies, and then a mall could really be in big trouble. Just last week, Macy's announced plans to close 125 stores in the next three years. The big problem there? There aren't new department stores looking to backfill those vacancies anymore. But Simons, she says, is well capitalized and has deep pockets to get creative. Plus, the two malls it's picking up are faring better than most. They're strong, well-performing malls that aren't going to take a hit. And Taubman has reiterated that shoppers can expect to see no changes in operations as a result of the sale. For now, reporting in Bloomfield Hills, Amira David, 7 Action News. All right, Amira, thank you. And for more on the Mega Mall deal, go to our website, WXYZ.com, for the very latest developments.